What's up guys, it's your guy Ty here, and this is my brand new 2019 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. guys this is uh my first video of, of my channel and i'm pretty excited to be doing a review on my brand new 2019 dodge charger scat pack i've had this car for about a week now to be honest i i have no complaints i i love this car it's amazing all right let's get into it um the exterior i chose the knuckle white color i had a v6 uh 2014 Charger SE before this so this I guess you can say this is a pretty big upgrade. I had that in all black I wanted to change it up. I couldn't stand cleaning a black car and you know It's just a lot harder to maintain and I wanted to get a two-tone color car with uh, the black accents so I went between destroyer gray and the white and I ended up deciding to pick the white um, The exterior Same badge you got here 392 Hemi same as all the other models and obviously, you know, if you're looking at the 2019, the biggest change is these nostrils right here in the front grille, which honestly, I I really like. I, I didn't know at first, like I was looking at pictures, I wasn't sure how it was gonna look on the car, but once I got it, uh, man, it, it, I think it makes it look so much more aggressive. It's really worth it. I like it. These front yellow uh, bumper covers, I'm gonna be taking off. I just haven't gotten a chance yet. I'm either gonna put them back on, but if I do, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna paint them black. So see how that looks. Maybe make it look cool in the front. But if not, you know, I'll just keep it without it. The next thing that's different is on the back. You got this B logo on the back, which I think is really cool. I like it better than the RT, um, the red RT logo. I think you know, once you're behind someone, you know it's a scat pack, not a super track pack or anything like that, or someone badging it. You know. It, it looks it looks really cool got your spoiler those big round exhaust tips I love those I I, I love the back of the, the scat pack it, it's it's amazing um the packages that I did on this car was the dynamics package so I got those those Hellcat rims the red brake calipers and I got six a six piston Brembo brakes which are amazing they're, they're the brakes are so good um, stops you on a dime. I love these rims. I really like the look of them. I know the new stock rims aren't those silver rims anymore. They're painted like a blackish color, which they don't look bad, but 
No, I just I love to look at these. The second thing I did was I got the sunroof. Um, you know, I just I like having a sunroof in the car, so I thought it was something I'd add. Um, but yeah, I really like this color. Really, just you know, everything about the the exterior is amazing. I'm really enjoying this car. Um, let me get a little. Let's get a start up for you guys. of them you know I like them but there's such a big difference between the exhaust from these and the 18s and 17s to be honest I, I don't know what they did to it but I don't know it's got I, I don't know how to describe it. it just has such a nice ag aggressive sound to it especially I've got the car broken in now put a couple hundred miles on it and it just it sounds great there's a lot of crack and pop to pop pop to the exhaust it just it, it sounds it sounds awesome I really I really love the sound of it. All right, um, all right, let's get to the inside of the car. All right, on to the interior. I got the black interior, just the standard. Um, a little thing that's different is this pattern here. It's got like this, this I don't know, claw looking pattern. I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks cool. You got your B logo on both the seats. I, I honestly, I love the seats. The ball string is so comfortable. It's you know, my I, I feel like I'm just like fitted right into the car. It, it's just it's awesome. I had a road I took a road trip like two days after I got it, and you know it was it was such a comfortable drive. Um, steering wheel. I think what I noticed a little different. I think they painted this black instead of having a chrome. If I'm not mistaken, um, I'm not really sure, but I, I think it looks it looks cool. And also on the the shifter, you know, it's not really chrome. It's like a darker gray. But uh. Yeah, you know, you got plenty of room in the back. You got your cup holders, folds up and down. USB ports, ventilation, all that stuff. The screen, this is, all right, so this is what I got, this is some of the changes with this. What I heard of now, it doesn't come up with the big anymore. I thought it was kind of cool, but it's all right. Um, I can't do this right now because I'm actually recording with my phone, but Apple CarPlay, I love. Um, it only works when you have your phone plugged into it. If anyone's looking for the navigation upgrade or something like that, I don't, wouldn't necessarily recommend it because when you plug in your phone to Apple CarPlay and you use directions through Google Maps, it's going to show it right on the screen. So you can access, it's going to have like a tab on the side, you know, um, Google Maps, your messages, music, things like that. And it's very easy. You know, I just use this to navigate and things like that. So I think that's pretty easy. Um, everything else pretty much the same except these two right here. Drive modes and launch control. Drive modes is, it's awesome. So it's, you're going to press that and you're going to come up with this page. You got all these options. This is when the car starts automatically, it's going to be on this setting. Um, what I always do, I have it on custom right now. I'm, I've kept the traction on street. I'm just getting used to the, the tire, and, uh, the tires and the car itself before I, you know, messing around with the traction and everything. But um, I have the paddle shifters on. You know, these have paddle shifters, which are really fun to play around with sometimes. Um, but yeah, you got your sport, your track, and yeah. What I've noticed is from auto, once you change the transmission to street, uh, from street to sport or track. Is when the exhaust opens up a little bit, uh, I think, which is that ex exact uh, active exhaust. I may be wrong on that, but to me, like when I switch, I definitely hear a difference between it. Um, yeah, th this is really cool to play around with. And then when you go into your custom setup, you can customize anything to whichever you want the steering, all that kinds of stuff, which is really cool. And then when you go back, uh, you got your performance pages. sometimes a little, a little on the load 
you know, you you know, got these gauges, G force, horsepower, all that stuff, timers. Oh, I hate gauges. Timers, you know, your zero to sixties, you can do all that stuff and record it. You got a dyno built into the car, which is really cool. Um, just a lot of cool features. It's it's honestly it's just you know little little things to just play around with the with the SRT modes now included into this year's model, which is really cool. When you go to your standard apps, you know you got driver heating for your seats, Wi-Fi hotspot, heated wheel, which I love. You know now it's it's getting cold out, so I have all these features for uh, warmth and everything. And then you know you got this all these other stuff, but yeah, it's uh it's it's a really cool car. I'd honestly, it's some people say it's not worth it from the 2018s going on, um, like a, like an upgrade. But to me, it's I, I don't know. It's it's basically your preference. But you know this, you know I had a, I was driving around on a six cylinder for a while, and you know it was time for an upgrade. So um, I saved up a lot of money and I worked hard, and you know this is the car I wanted. But I have no complaints about it. I, I love the color, I love the rims, everything. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, it's, it's an awesome car and you know, I wanted to make this video too because I'm going to be starting my, this, this, I'm going to be starting a channel now. So I'm going to be doing vlogs and going to car meets, taking this out, car shows, all sorts of things like that. So you guys let me know what you want to, want me to put on the channel and, uh, yeah, I'll see what I can get out there. Um, as far as mods go and everything, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do yet. A lot of things that people change are the exhaust. I really like the sound of the exhaust and the way it, the, the way the tone is and everything stock. It's loud, it's aggressive. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do to it. I may just leave it like this for a while. I, I wasn't intending on getting a car and then after a month or two getting a mid muffler delete, but I honestly don't know if I'm gonna do that because the the exhaust sounds really cool. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um. I don't know, maybe I'll get a diffuser on the back bumper, maybe get some stripes in the future, things like that, but yeah, right now I'm just, you know, just kind of chilling with how it, how it is and how it looks and just enjoying the car and I can't wait to start uh, going to car meets and things like that and getting some content out for you guys, so, um, alright, yeah, so this is, this is it, this is a review of my 2019 Charger Scat Pack, um, be sure to like and subscribe for uh, future content and uh, I'll see you guys later.